heat waves and hailstorms, snowstorms and sandstorms, typhoons and tornadoes. That's weather, the temporary state of the Earth's atmosphere at any given place at any given time. It's dependent on the complex interactions between the air, water, and heat from the sun. Earth is a dynamic planet, its atmosphere a giant weather engine powered by the sun. Since the sun heats up more air over the equator than it does at the poles, it sets in motion massive circulations of air. Warm, moist air near the equator rises and flows toward the poles. Cool, polar air sinks and flows back toward the equator. As this air whips across the Earth's surface, it continuously interacts with the land and sea, exchanging heat and moisture and creating our ever-changing diversity of weather. Winds push masses of warm and cold air away from where they form. The places where these air masses clash are called fronts, where thunderstorms and other foul weather often occur. A cold front is created when a mass of cold air wedges under warmer, lighter air, forcing it out of the way. This often makes for dramatic changes in the atmosphere, such as heavy clouds and violent storms. Warm fronts occur when a warm air mass slopes over a cold air mass, pushing it along. Weather effects are usually less dramatic during warm fronts. It often gets hotter and muggier, and there's a good chance that showers and thunderstorms may occur. All over the world, some 45,000 thunderstorms occur each day. They usually begin with warm, humid air called updrafts, rising above the earth and condensing into clouds. Ice crystals or water drops grow heavy enough to fall to earth, and the rain begins. Well, not always rain. If the air temperature is below freezing, precipitation can fall as snow. And if the water drops are exposed to temperatures both above and below freezing before it hits the ground, it falls as hail or sleet. By observing and analyzing the Earth's changing conditions, scientists can often predict what tomorrow's weather will bring. It's called meteorology, and it's how the weather person knows if you should grab your umbrella, don some sunglasses, or bundle up. By using various scientific instruments, meteorologists keep a close watch on six key conditions of the atmosphere. Pressure, that's the weight of air above a given point on the Earth's surface. Humidity, the amount of moisture in the air. Temperature, clouds, wind, and precipitation. Devices as simple as thermometers and barometers, and as sophisticated as radar and satellites, measure these elements to predict everything from an approaching cold front or thunderstorm to a deadly tornado or hurricane. By measuring a rise in pressure, for example, barometers can generally tell you to plan for nice weather. If the pressure drops, you may want to batten down the hatches.